so it's finally up the game that I've been working on ever since the very first blended tutorial three years ago is finally complete it's a short sweet 15 minutes of action where you play as a white blood cell defending the body against infection that's it that's the whole story nothing crazy just a small burst of fun and it's completely free so if you're interested in blowing things up and saving the world for 20 minutes then definitely try it out in the links below now the reason it took three years for me to make a 15 minute experience is because I really wanted the game to be in anime style but there were literally no anime style looking assets available to download or buy. So I spent more than two years modeling, sculpting, rigging, animating, and Guilty Gear UV texturing all the enemies I needed for the game. It took about two months per character, and there are 12 different characters in the game, so 85% of my development time was just spent creating 3D characters and animation. So yeah, literally only 15% of my entire development time was actually programming game design. The rest of it was just creating the 3D assets. And because of that I didn't have time to make a new soundtrack so instead I just used an old soundtrack that I had created for a previous game but in the end it was a similar genre so luckily I think it more or less kind of just worked out so that's how the game was made let's talk about how it's played my goal was to make the player feel awesome for 15 minutes but because I was designing it for the phone I had to keep the controls super simple as a result you the player only have to do two things you can tap the screen to tell Exo where to focus her fire and swipe the screen in order to control where she moves. Or if you're on PC, you just left click to aim and use WASD to move. Aside from that, everything else she does automatically. And she actually does a lot that most people probably will never notice, but I had a lot of fun adding anyway. For example, when the enemies are far away, she will use the standard firing stance that most of you are familiar with. But when the enemies get close, she'll switch to the center axis relock stance that John Wick uses. She has different stances for different weapons, so center axis relock for pistol looks different from center axis relock with rifle. And she also switches between standard and relock stances when holding two weapons. So here you can see the standard dual wielding and the relock dual wielding animations are slightly different. This has no effect on the gameplay, but I thought it looked cool so I kept it in. Now Exa has two types of enemy targeting systems. The first involves the aim box. Every time you tap the screen, that is where the aim box goes. Now any enemies inside of the box become the primary targets and they are identified by distance from the middle. So red means this enemy is the closest to the middle of the box and thus becomes the true primary target. When there are no enemies inside the box though, her secondary targeting system comes into play. Instead of looking at enemies inside the box, she will instead start to track the enemies closest to her body, which again are identified by color, which keeps track of the four closest targets, but the primary closest target is always marked in red. When you reach level 13, you will unlock new left arm weapons, which allow you to dual wield two weapons at the same time. Now X's right hand will always aim at the closest target to the middle of the locked box. However, if there are more than two enemies in the box, her left arm will always aim at the second closest target, which makes it easy for her to hit two targets in two different positions at the same time. She also has shoulder weapons that you'll unlock as you progress through the game, and they will automatically try to optimize and divide their firepower to cover as many enemies as possible. And all of this happens without the player knowing. You just decide where to shoot, she decides how to shoot them. You start the game out with just a pistol, but there are four other weapons that you can unlock as you beat missions and level up. The pistol is the standard weapon. It doesn't do a lot of damage and it doesn't shoot very fast, but it has explosive shells that deal splash damage to enemies around him, which means one shot can damage or destroy multiple targets if they're weak. The second weapon is the rifle. It's a fairly accurate mid-range weapon that fires a powerful three-round burst. Unlike the pistol though, its bullets do not have splash damage. The third weapon is the classic submachine gun. It's fairly weak and wildly inaccurate, but it has an extremely high rate of fire. Next we have the staple of all survival games, the shotgun. Now in my game you have a laser blade for close range so I had to think of some extra ways to make the shotgun more dangerous but basically every bullet from the shotgun is a one shot kill and each bullet is also explosive so they deal splash damage to enemies around them which also kill in one shot which make this weapon devastating up close but barely usable far away. And the final weapon is the sniper rifle. Now the sniper is a one shot kill from any range and it shoots a little slow but it has a lingering hitbox but the hitbox is actually active the entire duration of the laser and it will pierce through multiple enemies. 
So if you're good at lining up targets, you can take out multiple enemies in a single shot for lots of bonus points. And in my game, you can dual wield any two weapons you want. No exceptions. If you want to dual wield shotguns, you can go for it. If you want to dual wield sniper rifles, not a problem. I think one of the funnest parts of this game is just mixing and mashing different weapons together to see what works best for you. After all the arm weapons, she has five shoulder or back weapons. The one you start out with is the classic minigun. It shreds anything in front of it and has an extremely high volume of fire. The second weapon is the grenade launcher, and it fires an RPG at the closest enemy and blows up a massive area with insta-death. The kill box is actually as large as the fire, and it will linger until the fire is gone. The third weapon are missile launchers. They require no aiming, and once fired, they will automatically hunt down any enemy they find on screen, and they have a little splash damage effect around each warhead. The fourth weapons are orbit cannons. These were designed to mimic the firepower that you see from bits or fangs or pods in Gundam, but they also retain their likeness from Armored Core. They swarm and hunt down a target, attacking it from all directions until either they run out of energy or the target is destroyed. And the final weapon is a deployable turret, which will stay in whatever position you launch it from, and provide suppressive fire from angles that are too dangerous for you to defend alone. There are a few other things like a laser blade and special types of enemies, but you'll figure out those things in the tutorial. But yeah, that's the game. You just try and survive for 60 seconds, while enemies relentlessly charge your position. There are 20 missions in the game, and if you beat the final mission, you'll unlock some extra abilities that add some cool new replay value to help you get higher scores than you could before. So if you get the chance, please try it out. Otherwise, as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.